going on guys Kama here coming at you with the brand new champion talus uh, a monkey it is going to be a brand new flank coming in you know since flanks are super picked all in competitive but still this champion is very cool we want to go over the abilities the ultimate loadouts and the legendary that i chose and i think i thought of something that was pretty cool but most of the time when i think of something that's kind of cool it actually just ends up being something that everyone thought of so whatever so starting off we have the left mouse button it's firing 44 is not the normal ammo i have a loadout that gives me a little bit more but we'll talk about that in a little bit normal body shots do 95 and 143 on the headshots and if you notice i'm doing 95 here i'm already starting to hit the damage drop off here pretty quickly and when we get to mid range we're already doing about half damage so keep in mind with that you have to be close just like with most flanks like in droxus when his scan but it fires very quickly the exact time is 0.1 seconds so we're doing about 950 damage a second which is pretty good even if we just light her up in the stomach and then you start incorporating headshots in there oh cracks up so we have the right click now it's a punch the punch goes pretty far and if you notice like i'm gonna get her down just a little bit the punch does 600 damage and it knocks them back a little bit and it counts as AOE damage so you can hit multiple people with one punch. As Q just turns his gun, well it's literally called overdrive. You fire 33% faster for 4 seconds and you can activate it right in the middle of shooting. So if you're shooting, pop Q, turns right into that overdrive. And especially if you start hitting headshots with there, it just racks up. And then there's the example of me hitting multiple people with the right click. His movement ability is something that's kind of the most unique about him I think that's gonna really stick out if you look at this champion for the first time. He plays a teleporter on the ground that looks like this. Here, a little ticking in the background. And there's a timer on the screen letting you know how long you have to go back to it. So you can go forward, attack all you want, and before the timer goes up, you can teleport back to it. If you let the timer go all the way through, it will automatically teleport you back. So for example, if you just wanted to place a teleporter down and come at this guy super hard, and then teleport back to safety. Oh, pretty hair. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And lastly, you have his ultimate. Now, when you use his ultimate, you literally get to see through walls and big nameplates will pop up. Whoever you're highlighting, once you finish the channeling of your ult, you'll teleport through time and space and punch them in the face. So let's say I want that middle sky, target that middle sky, bam, right on him. And I just gave him the hands. Well, now I'm in a really sketchy predicament. It's kind of like Drogo's ult. You go punch a person in the face, well, you're boned. Now, there is an obvious workaround to this glaring weak point of this ultimate, and that's simply using your teleporting before you do the ult then you choose that middle sky because screw that middle sky pop your overdrive go for a huge burst of damage and teleport right back pretty sweet now i wanted to go over the legendaries right here we have faustian bargain is that how you pronounce it rune of travel no longer automatically activates when the duration ends if the rune is not used the cooldown is reset and that's actually the one that i'm using right now so if i were to activate it instead of it going all the way through once the timer goes down cooldown is right back up and I can place it again. Now while we're on the subject of this legendary, I have built a loadout to kind of go around it. Move 32% faster while Rune of Travel is active. The reason I have this is if I have this Rune of Travel on the ground and I'm not activating it or I don't need to unless I need to get to safety, I have a constant level 3 nimble up at all times. Increase your ammo count to 9. This is something I set because when you set your overdrive, you want to get as much damage out of it as possible and setting plus 9 to your ammo count helps you out get the most damage out of your overdrive as you can. Rune of Travel heals you for 400. Take 16% less damage when below 40% health. Damage reduction for free seems pretty good, even though it's only at 40% less health. And the duration of Rune Travel is increased by one second, giving me a little bit more uptime and a little bit more of a chance to decide if I want to teleport back or I don't want to teleport back. So that's the load I'm going to be using. The other ones, which I think might have all their merit, then we have Inner Strength, which is Rune of Travel now resets the cooldown of Overcharge and Blitz Upper when activated. Now this Legendary offers a lot of burst potential. Come around the corner, the Zing doesn't even see you, drop your Rune, pop your Overdrive, right click, activate it, right click again, Gives you a lot of quick burst damage. <laughs> Screw that sky too. Proud of you. And lastly, Raging Demon, you no longer consume ammo while overcharge is active. Man, if I could have both of those at one. Pfft. So with overdrive, obviously, you know, even if I'm at one one ammo or two, I can just still go ham. I mean up, dude? Might okay. be worth it, I don't know. But I'm gonna try out this one that gives me pretty much infinite level three nimble. We'll see how it works out. Wish me luck. All righty then, Faustian Bargain, still don't know if that's the way you pronounce it, and Evanescence. This is 32% move, faster movement speed while the Rune of Travel is up, increase my ammo count by 9, Rune of Travel heals me, but I mean you guys can read, I'll shut up. Now we're going to be starting off with, we don't really need Chronos, Life Rip would be okay, oh man he moves so weird. Let's really think about these items, we don't need Nimble, that's not going to stack properly, Chronos we don't really need, Cauterize would be pretty good. A Genos to go up against. So we'll start off with Cauterize. I mean, that's just a safe bet right there. Torb is insane, he says. I probably I don't doubt that. Uh -oh, they got the 
Dude, my overdrive couldn't even out deeps the Andrew. Holy crap, dude. Oh, here comes the hiccup. Apparently my DX11 is not enabled or 64 bit or something. Oh, cool, I'm off my mount. Well, it doesn't matter because we have the free nimble three, right? A lot less impressive when I see from his perspective. That Torvald's riding backwards. All right, all right, they're getting hot, they're getting hot. Oh, I see. Because you can, like, oh my god, this is awful. The way that they try to do this mounting system, holy god. All right, so this holding it down and not being, not really needing to use it. Oh, is that me that? Not really working out too well. Hello. Not yet. Watch your back. I can't pop it? Oh, there it goes. So we'll be able to chase him down. We'll pop our Q right about. Oh, where'd he go? We got him. I mean, I don't know. This uh, movement speed isn't as much as I was chalking it up to be. Someone coming up behind. Well, then I can place this down and chase. Don't run. Don't run from your feelings. We're going to place it down again, get our movement speed. We should have the Androxes in here. Oh, we're going to go up behind him, actually. That's five in a row. Oh, wait. No, I teleported. Oh, that was so close. Does he have the crippling one? Nope, I'm just bad. I didn't click the button in time. It's close. Maybe there's some sort of weird interaction coming in with the lift up and the, you know, teleport back. Oh, man. Look at that crazy aura coming off of me. And this mount thing, though. Oh, sometimes I get a good BB. Uh, I thought my teleport was up. Shut up. I got a free heal. Oh, where'd he go? He didn't die. Teleporting up. On my way. Son of a bee. Uh. Everything's there gonna go. be we're okay. Out. My whole team is dead, but we're gonna be okay. Oh my god, that's the whole team right there. So they see my teleportation, I think. He looked like he was looking at it. He was like, yo, look at that. And I was like, don't look at it. And he looked at it. Peekaboo! It's overdrive up. Pretty good. I think I might be a good wrecker with overdrive. Especially with no ammo consumption. Holy guacamole, dude. Pop this down to be safe, and we're gonna push forward. That barrack is kinda low. No, I teleported back when I died! <laughs> Oh man, it looks like the same issue that you come in with a wormhole type of uh, Eevee with a lag. I've got 87 ping, it's whatever, but be a little bit safer when you teleport back, guys. Don't expect yourself to be able to survive. Big ult's being expended. Ooh. Let's see if this goes through. Oh! Couldn't really tell, honestly. Peekaboo. Could not actually tell if that went through. I think it did. I just couldn't see the damage. Ooh, she's getting down. Look at that belly dance. I didn't actually see the new dances. I heard Shaolin had like some sort of amazing dance emote. My emote is look forward like a scared child. Hi, son. Are you lost? You want some cookies? Your parents were just murdered. Okay, that actually just looks like he murdered the parents. Holy crap. Wow. Terrifying. And we need to be oh so very careful on this. Oh, man. I wonder if I go, like, invulnerable. No, okay. So, I was just kind of testing that. <laughs> uh oh. Is he going to jump out or... Uh-oh. 
Oh my god, we have infinite ammo. This is the dream, guys. No, the dream is dead! Oh, the dream's back. Bam! That cheating bastard. This is interesting. This is an interesting. I don't. I guess if you're good at mem remember. Oh, where'd I go? All right, Jesus, that's, that's a lot of damage. Yo, real talk. That gristle guy can suck a dick. So the more and more I use my ultimate, the more I'm like. Escort fair lady whilst I frag. Escort fair lady whilst I frag. Yes. Hey, what up? What up, player? What up, Gristle Master? Oh, Gristle Master coming at me hot. I want my cookies. So, the, the wormhole bait or like the wormhole issue where like they can see where you're gonna wormhole it from. Um, it's it's a blessing and a curse at the same time, I think, because I kinda like feel like that, that Androxus was sitting back just waiting. I'm gonna put it behind this this pillar here. Wait, the cooldown says it's up. There it goes. I don't know. Well, I just invested so much stuff to kill Androxus, but I, if, if I'm going to say worth it, then I'm going to say worth it. Don't deny me this embrace! There you go, you're learning. Thanks, Pretty Hair, I'm learning. Interesting, so Lobby Chat's up right now. Comes up right away, left the channel, so this is another implementation that they have, but that's nice that it automatically opens up. Uh, let's just take a moment to appreciate the fact that uh, Torvald top damage. <clears throat> Torvald. Top damage. So overall impressions, fun to play. A lot of times when I'm thinking of a loadout, I think I have an idea of what I want to do, but it actually isn't what I want to do. Honestly, having zero ammo on the overdrive seems pretty appealing right now. Definitely going to take some testing around. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not going to be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not going to ask.